what's in my hospital bag hey you guys so what's in my hospital bag you ask um nothing because i didn't get to pack one <laughs> I had planned to do a what's in my hospital bag, you know, pack the whole bag, get all the stuff and everything, but you guys, time got away from me. So this is a different kind of what's in your hospital bag video because ladies, if you are in your third trimester and your hospital bag is not packed, I want you to stop watching this video and go pack your hospital bag, okay? Do not do what I did. Don't be like me. I thought I had time. I am 32 weeks pregnant. And if you haven't noticed in the background, I'm in the hospital. Yes. <laughs> yes, I am in here for preterm labor. My water broke at 32 weeks. And I'm in here for two weeks. So we are trying to keep the baby in to make it to 34 weeks. And then I am scheduled to deliver at 34 weeks pregnant. So all the time that I thought I would have to do all these things that I wanted to do, prenatal photo shoots, all that great stuff, uh, baby shower, um, some more vlogs, maternity clothing haul vlog, I didn't get to do any of that. So instead, I'm here to tell you, honey, Get your bag packed because as much as I love my husband, these are the items that he brought me. This is my body wash. And take note what that says, okay? This is Method Men. It's, it's his body wash. This is what he brought me. <laughs> and you know what? This video is not about him. It's about me because I... I'm a mom of soon to be eight, and I normally have my hospital bag packed, ready to go, and in the back of the car by the end of my second trimester. This pregnancy, I didn't do it. I, I just, I thought I had time. I really did, I thought I had time. So now, I have to sit here, I'm not gonna say for two weeks, because I did make my husband a list, but now I have to rely upon him to go get the items and pack my bag for me. And hopefully he brings me all of my nice feminine products and not his body wash. Oh. <laughs> and no offense, Colgate, but I so hate this toothpaste. It's like candy. I don't use this kind of toothpaste. So, you know, I, I have few items that he brought me the essentials you guys to shower with i've been here uh for let me see wednesday night thursday friday saturday it's sunday i've been here for four days now and the first two days have been i was plugged up to all kind of machines it was touch and go they were busy trying to stop the labor okay so today's actually the first day that i have been you know no ivs and all that other stuff and I'm clearly able to vlog and, you know, get some things done. But prior to the hospital bag was the last thing on my mind, of course, just trying to, you know, make sure the health of my child was, was you know, the main concern the first couple of days. But now that I'm here and I'm okay and he's okay, everything, everyone is stable. Um, I'm looking like I wish I had my bag, you know, I can put my face on a little makeup or something, um, something, you know, so I have to send a list to my husband to make for him to do my hospital bag. See how he, if he brings everything that I, I ask, you know, my slippers, my robe, my nightgowns, you know, some makeup, my facial treatment stuff that I use. All of that stuff, you know, um, but I, I am totally unprepared this pregnancy. So if you are in your third trimester, I'm 32 weeks, okay? 32 weeks. You never know what's going to happen. Each pregnancy is different.
Here's a list of some things that you should have for mommy and baby. Here's a hospital checklist that you can also find online. And here's a, a list of some other goodies that you might just want to have with you. Get your hospital bag packed if you haven't done it already. Pack your hospital bag because I'm telling you, nothing makes you feel a little more sanity than having your own personal items, you know, your own lip balm, okay? Your own perfume. I wish I had my diffuser, my essential oils. There's so many other things that I wanted to have here. My own pillows, my own blankets, and I didn't get to pack any of that stuff. So the importance of getting your hospital bag packed while you can early on and do not wait, okay? Thinking that you have time because take it from me, you never know what can happen. So pack your hospital bag, get it in the back of your car, honey. And that way, um, trust me, you will feel so much better just having your own personal things that you want and that you can put into your bag and have with you when it's your time and you have to be here waiting for your little one. So pack your bag.